eager, restless crowd has paid 50 pence a head to fill this cinema hall in South Wales to capacity. But they're not here to see a film. Films were killed off by stay-at-home television years ago. Nor are they here for bingo. They've paid, quite simply, to see this man. He's Alan Evans, 25 years old and a native of this place, Ferndale, a mining town in the Ronva Valley in South Wales. Alan grew up and went to school in Ferndale and his parents run the big pub in the high street here. But in Ferndale and in the villages and towns of the Ronva, Alan is little short of a god. And this is why. Alan throws darts. But Alan, who is Britain's open darts champion, throws darts like Arnold Palmer hits a golf ball, Johan Cruyff kicks a football, or John Conte throws a punch. He throws darts like any man who's ever chucked an arrow dreams of doing once in a lifetime. And he does it for money. He's one of a small band of brilliant dart players who've now found they can make a living by throwing darts. Well, we're hoping to make uh, five thousand pounds, between four to five thousand pounds, which is a lot of money. It is a lot, yes. Yeah. yeah, and yeah, so you can make a very good living from darts. An excellent living from darts. How much do you charge uh, per exhibition match? Well, if it's a local club or hall, it's uh, thirty pounds. And how many of those might you do in a week? Well, some weeks perhaps just one or two, and other weeks perhaps five nights a week. Which are the ones that bring in bigger money then? Well, obviously, if you've got to travel, mm. then uh, our agent in Manchester, if he fixes us up with the uh, bookings up there, we could get between 60 and 70 pounds a night there, plus our accommodation and expenses. But no one seems to begrudge Alan his money, because in Wales, darts is important. And this evening, there's a big needle match, Wales versus England. Alan Partner versus two London champs. The match to be held at the nearby mining town of Mardi. Clearly, Alan has things on his mind. Whoever wins tonight will walk away with 200 pounds. An hour to go before tonight's big match. A time for that important last practice. Alan kicked off with a Shanghai. A treble, a double, and a single 20 in three darts. Just like that. Now 40 minutes to go, and Alan inspects the darts he'll use tonight. No longer the faithful set worn smooth with handling. These are slimline and made of tungsten. They weigh 22 grams and cost 22 pounds a set. But as with any dart anywhere, the flight must be true. A final ritual, and not unlike that of the matador. The right gear for the job. So this is the famous T-shirt. Uh, pop it on. What's what's with this? Well, I uh, I regard it as one of my lucky shirts. You know, mm -hmm. I like to wear it at all the big games, and uh, I feel a lot better in this than any other shirt. Do you reckon that brings you luck? Yes, it is. Uh, mm. I suppose it's all in the mind, but um, I feel very lucky in it. You know. Let's have a bit of order, then, please. And so, to the big match. The evening's a sellout. 500 people turned up to see the impossible performed. The second game, can we have all the way from London, Mr. Tony Bell. And of course, from Wales, as I said, ranked number one in the world, Alan Evans. The big match is really the big race. Two teams, one from Wales, one from England, in a race to see who will get from 3001 to naught the quicker. But for starters, the bull. Tone it down, then, please. First 
Sultan. Their hero performs. These are men who have worked hard all day. Some will be on early morning shift at the colony. They might well want to relax and let off steam, but the concentration is total. Every dart is followed in silence and in awe. 55. What? Yeah. One hundred and eighty, the maximum you can get in this game with three darts. Alan, the hero, is on form. But the tension's always there. The big man from London is good. Who's going to get from 3,001 to zero first? One hundred! The match is the best of three, and it's Alan's turn to fret. He's watching his partner, Leighton Rees, against the other Londoner. Concentration, precision, massive skill. Alan again. Two games to one up. The best out of three wins. Can he, for this crowd, win the match? He needs 113 precisely to win. Can he do it? Treble 19, 16, yeah, he's there. Come on. come on, you've seen some brilliant dancing out there. Some brilliant dancing out there, come on. And that's why Alan Evans is a god, and why in the Ronvers certain knowledge the unbeatable world champion with a dart.